Like that's how it be though Nothing but great effort just to get a C though Eyes watching but we never seem to be though I think a lot of us, including myself, sometimes forget that My Hero Academia is still a school-based series at the end of the day even though there's superheroes and there's awesome fights and all of the great stuff that we love from a shonen it is still based in a school academia and on top of that you know they just moved into dorms in the latest episode of my hero academia but i do think nevertheless that this is a problematic aspect that does affect my hero academia on a couple of different levels mainly one a lot of people's enjoyment but also two it kind of takes down the popularity a little bit and what i'm referring to because i know immediately people are gonna say yo shut up i love these moments these are the greatest i'm not talking about that i'm talking about the overall the masses that they want just that crazy action-packed shonen and that's that whenever my hero academia goes into the slice of life elements that's when a lot of people start tuning out get disinterested or say hey it got boring or it fell off i will tell you right now if you're an anime only viewer of my hero academia a, a common thing amongst some fans not all of them i mean at the end of the day a lot of people still love it i love it there's a great arc a huge great arc that comes after this arc that we're uh, embarking on in the anime that is really really good or whatever but a lot of people say that after the all for one stuff my hero academia just isn't the same it just doesn't match that level that we got with the all for one fight so it's definitely going to be interesting to see from here on out because we still have a, another half of this season to go with like another 12 episodes or so of my hero academia to wrap all of this up and we're going into an exam type of deal and i don't want to give too many spoilers away but there was a couple of press releases from shonen jump describing where we're going right now but this episode for the most part the latest one was again a slice of life episode and there will be more slice of life in fact i just got done reading and catching up to the manga and from here it'll be as follows it'll be this arc which kind of feels slice of life and exam ish then we'll get a really amazing arc then another slice of life type of arc and then going into some serious stuff again so that seems to be the pattern and the thing is is that a lot of people don't really want to see the slice of life stuff i think some of it i enjoy i'm not gonna lie there's sometimes where i'm like oh this is kind of relaxing it's nice it gives a little bit of characterization this latest episode episode for example was kind of in in real world terms showcasing that these young kids they're 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 still young you know it's not like they're 19 20 even that is kind of young but you know that they're still very young that they're trying to get over what just happened that was a traumatic event seeing their all-time hero going into this life or death battle where he lost his powers essentially and the danger that was around it them trying to adjust again to like it's not always like that life sometimes just cools down and you gotta adjust again so this episode was just that them doing the whole room tour and all of that stuff was mainly just them trying to adjust to normalcy a little bit so you can't really fault them in that regard but my overall thing and where i feel as though it really hurts my hero academia on a popular scale with the mainstream audience that they don't want to see none of that stuff is that it really kind of takes away from what people want from a shonen on a mainstream standpoint. Like, you know what I'm saying? With, for example, a Naruto or a One Piece or a Bleach. People love just continuing on with this overall arcing story with battles and suspense and mystery and all that stuff. With My Hero Academia, it's a little bit of a different shonen because you'll get a lot of the insanity and the awesome action and mystery and suspense and all that stuff. But then you'll get these arcs where it's just a downtime like... Again, this latest episode, they're just doing this big room tour. I think it was cool for the comedic aspects. I do think that it's not as exciting as the other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Especially all for one. But how do you really match up to like the series' peak thus far with, you know, an episode like this? And again, it was just a little bit slower. But it does, I feel to a certain degree, hurt My Hero Academia's popularity for the people that they're like, no. You know what I'm saying? They come from a Dragon Ball where you never get that. Like, you'll get maybe one or two episodes. I think Super tried to do a little bit of that, and people would tune out on Super and say, yo, this was trash. I hated it or whatever. Um, one Piece, when it tried to do a little bit less serious arcs, like the Foxy arc, even though it wasn't Slice of Life, there was still some action, but people were like, no, it was too tame. You know what I'm saying? Like, e even with a, a Naruto, if Naruto ever got a little bit where it was just, like, not much happening or even a filler episode, people would feel that way. So, with My Hero Act, academia this being straight up you know seasonal 100 canon people want that straight up action continuing on the overarching theme of them trying to become superheroes and when it does the slice of life stuff i feel as though again people just 
aren't interested and it does hurt its popularity a little bit. Again, I'm not saying that I hate it or take it out of there because these are young kids and they do need these downtimes. It's not always going to be craziness. On top of that, they're in school. They're not full-fledged heroes. I could understand if we were just straight up like this was superheroes. They, there, was, there was no academy, no school, no nothing. And they was in the streets really fighting crime all the time. But they eventually have to go back to school. And on top of that, now they're living there. So an episode like this, I'm not really necessarily defending it because I could see both sides of the spectrum. I could see that there's some people that they just love it. They just love these characters and they love this world and they don't give a crap if it's a slow episode, a funny episode, whatever. They just want that. But I can also see the other side of the spectrum where there's people that like, yo, I just want really exciting stuff. I want mystery. I want the whole story to keep on moving forward. I don't want these downtimes. And I kind of get that too because a lot of people i mean at the end of the day we watch anime to entertain ourselves and some people's entertainments might differ some people like regardless of what it is some people want a particular thing out of a series especially when they go to shonen it's kind of like if you went to a shoujo series and you know it's mainly about like this romance and you really want to see these characters get together and all of a sudden you see i don't know uh Kiji uh, throwing down in a boxing ring for three episodes and having to see Roxanne uh, on the sidelines like oh well Kiji and it's like no you just want to see if these characters are going to get together and all of that slice of life stuff so I, I definitely see where both sides of the spectrum are coming from but to be honest with you I do think overall the masses do speak and I remember with Super when we would get those downtime episodes of the characters not doing too much it does hurt and it's unfortunate because uh, these episodes, again, they, they do feel necessary at times. We're in a school. These kids do have to get over these traumatic experiences. They do got to train. They do have to do certain aspects that aren't always just this big, giant villain that they have to fight. And that's the structure of My Hero Academia, for better or worse, whether it's good or bad, that we kind of got to accept. So I guess I got to pass the question off to you guys. I'm kind of curious. One, do you like or do you hate when My Hero Academia goes into these more downtime, slice of life-ish type of arcs and episodes? Do you feel as though it's like good and it, it, it's great for the characters? I mean, it showcases a lot of characterization and character development for some of the characters. I mean, Sue kind of wanting to say, hey, you know, I was really saddened by this. You got that. So it was a little bit of development for Sue in the episode. You got small things that are necessary for an overall narrative on top of that. You know what I'm saying? But then again, for the people that don't like it and hate it what would be your solution to the fact that we're in a school do you want them to just skip over all that and say yes yeah, so uh, two weeks passed we did an exam and we're back at it and oh a, a big goblin came or like is that the type of story that you want and overall do you think that the slice of life elements that we get in my hero academia the arcs or the you know episodes whatever hurt the series in terms of popularity and mainstream appeal or it helps i mean it helps in a way of like it makes it better written it just showcases the interactions between the characters and them bonding at the end of the day class 1a breaks a mold of like well it's kind of like the konoha 11 in a way but they didn't really work together that much they often did their own you know their three-man cell type of deal this one is one big class and everybody you know cares for each other so seeing these episodes it just bonds them more and showcases that they really all are friends and they really all care about each other and your overall thoughts of this discussion this is something that i feel as though my hero academia as long as it continues to have the same structure unless we go into some like crazy war or we get a time skip where we're no longer in the academia part and the school aspect is out the window and we're just mainly superheroes now which i think my hero academia will end when we graduate i don't see this story going into ah full-blown superheroes unless it blows up even more than where it's at right now and becomes like you know just mainstream all over the world just the most humongous thing ever which it's very very popular now all for one really did the job of bringing awareness to the series but it's still not like you know what dragon ball z ultimately is everyone knows what dragon ball z is but my hero academia is close i mean it's pretty much the biggest new shonen right now like i said about the whole king of shonen discussion i did a while ago even though a lot of people disagree but yeah your overall thoughts of this i think the slice of life elements are great for the story but it does hurt the mainstream appeal for the people that they want the action suspense and all around the stuff that you mainly go to a shonen for but that's the structure of the story that's all i have for this one though thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say 
or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, stalk my Facebook. And follow me on Twitch to get more when the video ends. Also, make sure to hit the notifications. Hit the bell and get all notifications for the channel. I'm Fnub World. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And as always, people, anime and manga for life, boy. Bow. Have an awesome day. That's actually the golden rule. I'm all over the place. <laughs> we make a major move. Laugh and let the haters lose. We don't give a fuck virginity attack queens.